Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I'm just gonna jump right in because it is super late that I'm filming this video, but you know what? I just had to get on here and film. Earlier today, I saw that Trend Mood had posted this photo right here and it just said Uma by Sharon C. And I was like, what is that? Is Uma coming out with more products? And I'm like, Okay, it's been a minute since we saw new products from Uma and I got really excited. Then I looked down at the description and it's a new brand and it's an affordable brand at Walmart. So I was like, hold up. So then I moved to the comments and I was like, oh my God, people said that they saw it at their Walmart. So you know what I did? I went to my local Walmart and I got the products in the collection. So I have everything to test out for you guys today. There's only one product I did not pick up and it was a glow serum um, and it, that retailed for like $23. I have oily skin so serum, like oil glow serums like that, I can't, I tend to stay away from just because it doesn't work well with my skin. But just know I do have all of the other products that Uma by Sharon C released and I'm super excited about this video. I have the foundations, I have the lip gloss, what is it, like the lip tint oil and glosses. I have four shades, I have the new mascara, I have the oil, I have, I just have all the products that they released and we're gonna be talking about it today. So let's get started. So before we dive into this new affordable beauty brand, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the fam, cause y'all already know, y'all already know, we cut up over here. So join the fam if you haven't already. Okay, so let me just tell y'all a little bit about Uma Beauty by Sharon C. So it is a ingredient conscious, eco-friendly, vegan, cruelty-free brand that's centered around care, skincare, self care, soul care, care for the planet, care for furry friends, and care for all of us. It says makeup and skincare with affordable prices made with naturally derived ingredients and sustainable packaging. So we're just gonna go through each of these products. So the first product we have here is the foundations. So I picked up three shades that honestly, this frosted packaging is really hard to tell which shades are gonna work best for me. So I picked up the shades T4, T5, and T6. After T6, it started to get really, really deep and just like glancing at it, I knew it wasn't gonna work for me. So I have these three shades to test out. This foundation retails for $14.95. So if you don't know, Uma Beauty is already a brand. It's a very high-end brand. It's sold at Ulta and it's also online. One thing that I love that they did, which Oh, it just gets me. The style of the core Uma Beauty brand is basically brought into this new eco-friendly brand and I just love that. I only own one thing from Uma Beauty and that's the foundation. This is the Say What foundation. I really do like this. I haven't used it in a while, mainly because the shade wasn't really the best shade match, but I do wanna look into getting a deeper shade that I think would work for me. I haven't tried this in a while, so I don't know if it will work for me, but I was just super excited to see that they came out with a foundation foundation that's half the price and I'm really excited about that. So we're gonna go ahead and test out these foundations. I am gonna go ahead and prime my face first. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup Revolution Liquid Powder Pore Blurring Serum. Oh, I almost forgot. I did pick up this new Revlon product. It's the Photo Ready Hose Glow Mist. It says prep, hydrate, and refresh. This is a bio phase formula that awakens the skin for extra hydration and a boosted glow. It says shake it. Shake well before use. Mm. It smells really good. Packaging on all of these foundations is super, super cute. It just says flawless in real life. Skin perfecting foundation infused with 100% natural marine. I'm just gonna pump a little bit on the back of my hand. And then we're gonna see. So you guys could see that's T4. That honestly looks like a really, really good match. I don't know if you guys could see, it's kind of hard to see. Let me do a swatch a little higher on my neck. Right there. So that's T4. That looks like a really, really good match for me. So this is T5 right here. T5 looks a little bit lighter than T4. I do feel like the undertone of T5 is a little bit more cool toned. So I don't know, we'll let that dry down a bit. T6 looks dark, so I'm just gonna put T6 here. But it looks a little bit too 
dark. Like looking at it, it looks like it has like an olivey undertone. And honestly, I feel like I could really get away with T4 and T5. So T6 is out for me. It says that this is a medium to full coverage foundation. It's available in six unique formulations. Okay, that's very interesting. I wonder what that means. It's infused with vitamin C, long lasting. It is transfer proof. Uh, with a soft, radiant, natural finish. It's a skin perfecting balm that's charged with skincare ingredients. Recycle bottle and pump cap is not recyclable. So what I'm gonna do is take T4 and do two squirts on the back of my hand. Hmm, a little yellowy maybe? Ooh, I don't know, okay, hmm. Okay, so maybe it might oxidize. I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna go in with T5 on the opposite side and just see what side I think looks better. I'm just gonna take the same sponge. Once I put concealer and everything on, it'll look good. So what I'm gonna do is just mix the two shades, take a pump of T4 and, and a pump of T5. Definitely is like a medium to full coverage foundation. I just love how it looks on the skin. It really does look skin-like. And I kind of already see it kind of oxidizing. I'm just gonna quickly conceal with the Maybelline Fit Me and add my powder, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the lip products. These lip glosses, these lip tint, lip oil, and lip gloss retails for $6.98 each. And honestly, you guys, this packaging reminds me of the Tower 28 packaging. Like, it literally looks almost the same. The only difference is that one is just skinnier. Like this is the Tower 28 and this is the um, Uma Beauty by Sharon C. So I'm really excited about this formula because it's different. It's called, it's complicated, limp, lip tint, lip oil, and gloss. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch each of these on the lip. So the first one is the shade Peng. And wow, the color on this, oh my gosh. Whoa. But then when you like kind of blend it out, oh my gosh, it's so thin. It looks like a tint, right? Like it, ooh, this is very pigmented. Wow. I was not expecting it to be like this. It smells good. It's so, I'm, this is a very different kind of formula. It says that it's a lip oil, it's a lip tint and a gloss. It doesn't really give me that gloss vibe. Like it's not very, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It definitely does give me lip tint vibes, but it, and it also feels hydrating like a lip oil, but the gloss part, it's not really giving me. I thought it would give me more shine, but really it doesn't. So I don't really know much about the gloss part, but the other two things, Definitely. Okay, next up is the shade Softy. So we're gonna put this on. Ooh, I like this one. This formula feels super different. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, I can't really describe it. My lips are tinted red from that first shade. I don't know if these do much for me, honestly. I don't know if they really do much. They definitely do feel moisturizing. A little bit sticky. But I don't know. So this is the shade Softy. So next up, I have the shade Mischief. This shade is very, very pigmented. I actually really like this shade. I personally, wish, I kind of really wish that these were just glosses. The formula on these lips are so hard to describe because they're like, they feel a little bit tacky. They have a lot of pigment with well, some of them. Like this one looks like a liquid lipstick that just didn't dry down. But I don't know. It's just so hard to describe. I kind of just, I wish, I'm just missing that like glossy kind of feel. But out of all the ones I've tried so far, this one is probably my favorite, which is very unexpected. Um, but this is the shade Mischief. So we have one more because my lips are starting to like get to me. This is the shade Casually Lit. So this one's kind of like a brown, almost. This one is Casually Lit. This one's definitely not my favorite shade. Um, 
that I've tried. It's interesting. It's a very interesting shade. I think so far my favorite one is this, but this is a formula I truly cannot describe. Um, I don't even think the packaging can describe it. It says it's a little bit of this, it's a little bit of that. It's a lip oil, it's a gloss, it's a lip tint. It's like they didn't couldn't decide on one formula, so it was like, you know what? Give me all the formulas, we're gonna put it in one, you know? Let's go ahead and move on to the mascara. I'm super excited about this. I already had my eyes done. Um, this is the eye look I did earlier today for my TikTok. But we're gonna go into the mascara. So the mascara retails for $7.98. This is super cute. It's called Batter Boom Mascara. Um, it has 77% natural ingredients. Really, really like the wand on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this on my bottom lashes. One of those wands that'll be really, really good for the bottom. And I definitely was right because look at that. That's pretty. Like these, this mascara is so good. It really does separate the bottom lashes. I honestly can't wait to use this mascara on my top lashes. I kind of wish I didn't have these lashes on so I could try it out, but I do. But they definitely did separate my bottom lashes. If you guys could kind of see that on camera. My lighting is really horrible. I'm so sorry. It's like going in and out. I'm filming at nighttime, so normally I use like a little bit of natural lighting and things like that, but just you guys gonna have to bear with me. I, I really wanted to film this video, so I was like, you know what, the lighting, we're gonna have to bear with it, you know? I'm just happy that there's another black-owned brand that is clean, um, and that's very exciting, very, very exciting. We have a So Fresh and So Clean Clean. <laughs> Go Off Natural Cleansing Oil. It's a natural makeup remover and cleansing oil with vitamin E, olive oil, castor oil, and grapeseed oil. You guys already know I seriously, seriously love my ColourPop BFD cleansing oil. It's super, super good and I'm obsessed with it. And I really wanted to try this out because this does retail for $14.95, but I love cleansing oil so much, so I wanted to give this a try. I'm not gonna use it in today's video, but I will definitely update you guys in a product roundup video. Y'all already know how I do. I have to do one of those. I will definitely update you guys in one of those videos or an upcoming video after I've tested this out, in case you guys are wondering, because I know you're probably gonna wanna know sooner rather than later. Lastly, in this new launch of this brand, there is these Go Off 2-in-1 Water Activated Cleansing Wipes. It is a natural makeup remover and cleansing wipe infused with argan oil and vitamin E. And in these, you get 40 sheets, and I believe this retails for $5.98. That's a seriously good price for these. I'm very excited to try this these out. I will use these tonight and definitely update you guys in an upcoming video, but this is really cool. It's different. It does say that it is vegan and hypoallergenic. It's clinically tested and there's no preservatives of alcohol. It says it's a first of its kind, convenient and luxurious vegan and 100% natural cotton wipes. And it's already infused with cleanser. All you have to do is add water and it's suitable for all skin types. So this is a product I'm very much looking forward to testing out for you guys. First up, I really do like the foundation. I think if you guys hear that, that's Callie eating. Callie is eating her food. Um, but I really do like the foundation a lot. Um, I think it ended up looking really good in the end. Like it comes together when you put concealer and all that good stuff on. So I really do like this foundation. If you've been wanting to try the Uma Beauty one and you've never gotten around to doing it, I think you'll really like this because the formula seems very reminiscent of each other. It's very skin-like. Um, you do get one fluid ounce of product in this one. And then in the normal Uma Beauty brand, you get one fluid ounce. So the only difference is like the sizing of the packaging, to be honest, like they're pretty similar formulas. The fact that this new foundation is a lot cheaper and inexpensive, we love it. Seriously, love it. As far as these lip products right here, I kind of was, I was really hoping that it was more like a gloss. Um, so I'm a little bit disappointed in what this is. I don't really feel like it does much for my lips. It has really good ingredients in here, but I don't see how, I don't know how much I'd reach for these. I just really was hoping that they were kind of like a gloss formula. I do like the shade that I'm wearing and the other shade that I was telling you guys about. Um, but as far as like the formula, I don't really know how I like, truly feel about it. I don't know how often I'd be like, ooh, 
I want to pick up this formula, you know what I mean? Um, but they are really inexpensive and the packaging is super cute. Packaging always gets me. So if you want to try these out, definitely do. It is a different formula and if you do pick this up, please come back to this video and let me know what you thought about it because I'm very intrigued to know what you all think about these lip products. Mascara is really good. I really like the wand. I love how it separated my lower lashes. I will definitely continue to use this because first of all, the packaging is super cute, but I will definitely continue to use this and let you guys know how I like it on the upper lashes, but it's super, super cute. The range of products that were released in this brand is so interesting. It's like we have some cleanser products, we have foundation, uh, we have the lip products. It's just different, you know, it's really, really different. And for our first launch of this brand, I am I love that they dabbled in a bit of everything. You know what I mean? I'm honestly really excited for this brand, especially because it is sister brand to Uma Beauty and it's affordable and it's at Walmart. So it's seriously easily accessible for a lot of different people. And I'm super excited to find out what more they're gonna release. I'm really, really excited to figure that out. Um, the foundation is definitely my favorite product I tried today. Now I'm about to go take off my makeup and use this and this and I will update you guys in a future video. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I just wanted to quickly share my thoughts on these products with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join the fam. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.